One man says he's found a safe, effective, and green way to kill the plant once and for all. KTBS 3's Sharon Fuller Love gets a closer look at the water mower. We're in Bossier Parish today where a local inventor has come up with a very ingenious way to combat the salvinia problem. Giant salvinia is a giant headache for boaters and fishermen on area lakes. It's reached a high point uh, this past summer on Lake Bissonneau of over 7,000 acres. This thing, it's, it's our enemy. Mm -hmm. And what we need to do is kill it. That's just what John Bork is doing with his new machine, the water mower. He says the hydraulic shredder attached to a pontoon boat destroys salvinia. This machine grinds up the salvinia like a blender and then shoots it out as mist that will eventually sink to the bottom of the lake. And because salvinia can't flourish without sunlight, Bork says once it's shredded, it can't regrow. We will take some back to our lab facility and place them in containers with lake water. Now watch it for three weeks. If none of these little pretty boys come up and want to live again, then we did it. Though it's taken him three tries and four years to complete the water mower, Bork says it's worth all the time and money to see it work. You need to stick with it and then uh, make it happen. And that's what you need to do is make it happen. And it happened. Samples of the salvinia mist will now be tested by wildlife and fisheries to make sure they'll stay dormant at the bottom of the lake. In Bossier Parish, Sharon Fullalove, KTBS 3 News. And while the water mower is being tested, wildlife and fisheries is drawing down Lake Bissonneau to help fight the salvinia problem there. And they say the unusually cold winter has killed off more of the plant than expected, dropping its levels to the lowest since 2006. Signs of opposition are popping. But it's not just the school productions that makes this girl a star. And weather-wise, most of us seeing lots of sunshine. Today. Lakes. John Bork has an invention called the water mower. It works by sucking up and chopping up the greenery, which then settles on the bottom of the water. Today, Bork started testing his mower, as you can see there, on Lake Bistano, which should take about three weeks. and green way to kill the plant once and for all. This is John Bork's water mower, a hydraulic shredder attached to a pontoon boat that grinds up giant salvinia like a blender and then shoots it out as a mist that'll sink to the bottom of the lake. Wildlife and Fisheries is testing samples of the mist to make sure the plant won't regrow. And they'll watch it for three weeks. If none of these little pretty boys come up and want to live again, then we did it. While the water mower is being tested, Wildlife and Fisheries is drawing down Lake Bistano to help fight the Salvinia problem. They say the unusually cold winter has killed off more of the plant than expected, dropping it to its lowest level since 2006. Uh, give something for our kids and us to fish, and um, I hope you know. I, I hope it works. I mean, I hope it succeeds. Ahead, we'll tell you about the plan that could offer salvation from Salvinia. A shot at getting rid of the giant Salvinia plant spreading across some Arclitex lakes. John Bork has an invention called the water mower. It works by sucking up and chopping up the greenery, which then settles on the bottom of the water. Today, Bork started testing his mower on Lake Bistano, which should take about three weeks to finish this process. And uh, thank goodness for Mr. Bork. Yeah. New invention. Hope he got it patented. And hope it works so <laughs> like he intends it to. Yeah. Uh, that is becoming a big menace. That it strangles a lake tide sure is does. what it does. It sucks up all the oxygen all that stuff. Uh -huh. Not good. Not, Not good. good. Yeah. And weather-wise, mm -hmm. uh, all is pretty much quiet around the Then green way to kill the plant once and for all. It's a hydraulic shredder attached to a pontoon boat that grinds up giant salvinia like a blender and then shoots it out as a mist that'll sink to the bottom of the lake. Wildlife and Fisheries is testing samples of the mist to make sure the plant won't regrow. In the meantime, Wildlife and Fisheries is drawing down Lake Bistano to help fight the Salvinia problem there. And they say the unusually cold winter has killed off more of the plant than expected, dropping it to its lowest levels there since